impact their ability to lead the country. Let's bring in our panel now, Brylin Hollyhand, chairman of the Republican National Committee Youth Advisory Council, and Julian Serafian, Democratic pollster, uh, a political influencer. I'm wowed by both of you because you're so established and so far along in your life, um, considering your age. Uh, I'm Brylin, you're 18 years old? Yes, ma'am. I mean, you've been at politics now for how long? Seven years. I, I started mean, when I was 11. Incredible. <laughs> so, how is the youngest group of voters feeling about these? I won't just ask about one candidate or sure. the other guy. I'll ask you about both candidates, and let's just start with their age. Oh, absolutely. Well, first of all, I'll say this. This book release week, I'm here in New York. I've got a copy for you right oh, here just you for you. thank you very much, Brian. Your audience get them on Amazon right now, one generation away. Now, as for the question, I don't think my generation is necessarily concerned about age. We're concerned about cognitive ability, and it was clear in that debate that Joe Biden's not cognitively there. Uh, he's not sharp as a tack like President Trump. You know, he, he's sharp. We saw that in debate. We have, you know, his critics saying that President Trump's too sharp at times, uh, but Biden was stumbling, he was fumbling. I'm concerned to see what Sadie's you know, in behind the cameras, behind the scenes. And we saw just this morning, he went on a DNC-friendly talk show to attempt to have a recovery, to have a safe interview. You know what he did, Sandra? He went on there and said repeatedly that it's these DNC elites that are trying to kick him off the ballot. Sandra, Joe Biden's been in Washington, D.C. for 45 years, 45 years. He's the definition of a DNC elite. What is he talking about? Uh -huh. My generation's fed up. Let's let Julian respond now. As I put up on the screen, Julian, and welcome to you, the 18 to 29 year olds um, who say uh, that they are backing, uh, more of them are backing former President Donald Trump than current President Joe Biden. So it's 40 to 48 percent. There's 12 percent who don't know or they refused to answer. So is there concern, not just from um, your age group of voters, but from your party about Joe Biden's ability to lead? Yeah, well, I think it's a great question. First, I'll note that, you know, polls are not always accurate. You know, it may be today that we see one that says that uh, that Trump is in the lead, and then it might be tomorrow that we see one that says that Biden is, is in the lead. I, I do want to make clear, to directly answer the question you asked earlier, to be blunt, many people in my generation are disenchanted by both candidates, frankly, because we would just love to see somebody who is a bit younger, a bit more with it, you know, uh, irrespective of how uh, they perform in one debate, we connect more readily and easily with folks in Gen X, with millennials, obviously, and certainly with folks in Gen Z. I do want to make one qualification to what was mentioned earlier, though, and that's that, you know, there's a big difference between debating and governing. Mm. And Biden may not have had a great debate performance. I will readily acknowledge that. But when you look at the man's track record, when you look at the fact that his administration has had the second lowest turnover in the cabinet of any administration in the last 25 mm -hmm. years, and all of the major pieces of legislation that he has accomplished so for Julian, the American people, are you support that leadership I, speaks I know, for itself. I know you referenced the polls, but are you personally, are you supporting him to stay in this race? I am, but I also don't have a real say, if I'm being honest. No, no, I'm, you're I'm a voter. You're a voter, and you're in the voting block that we're talking you're about. Right. So let yeah. me get you back. My, in. My, my position on it, to be to be frank with you, is this late in the race, I think it would just be a chaotic mess to try to plug somebody else in. Uh -huh. Biden, for me, as a Democrat, as a voter, he was not even in my top five for the nominee back in 2020. I've been very okay. open about that on my platform, but this is where we're at. Safe to say, I don't, I don't sense a lot of enthusiasm there from you, um, but let's get <laughs> Brylin back in here and give us your thoughts. Can Donald Trump beat Joe Biden if he does stay in? I think he can, and I also think that he can win the youth vote, Sandra. A Republican candidate has not won the youth vote since 2003, but that poll you just put on the screen had an eight-point lead for President Trump with young voters. That's not a little day-by-day -day poll lead. That's a major shift in polling, and we're seeing that because Make America Great Again isn't just a bumper sticker, Sandra. It's not just a campaign slogan. It's the way of life my generation wants back. Our guest here mentioned to look at Joe Biden's track record. I'm looking at his track record, and all I'm seeing is failure after failure after failure. I then look at his history, and this wasn't just an isolated incident. Mm -hmm. We've seen this for three plus years of Joe Biden not just stuttering, blundering, losing his train of thought, losing sentences, falling up and down the stairs of Air Force One. Mm -hmm. My generation is concerned about this, and absolutely, youth voters have a say despite what he said. And we and have you a think voice. you have a lot of enthusiasm. Absolutely, on your side. Okay. yes. Going uh, into the convention, we're seeing that. Julian, real quick, final thought from you. Yeah, listen, I, I, you know, uh, am I the most enthusiastic and excited about Joe Biden as a candidate? Not necessarily. Okay. Am I excited <laughs> about what he brings to the future of uh, America by way of women's reproductive rights, strengthening our democracy, voting rights, 
and all of the accomplishments that he has had from capping insulin to infrastructure okay. uh, to codifying you know, the rights of folks who are queer to get married, 100%. Got it. Uh, we appreciate you both coming on and telling us how you feel and Thank the way you. you see things. I couldn't be more excited about President Trump. And I've got your book, Thank One you. Generation Away. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we'll have you back. John? For Sandra, Russia hitting a children's hospital in a daytime strike in Kiev. The man